So many of you guys have noticed that we've moved into this new office for quite some time and I think it's finally the time for us to really upgrade our video editing rig which is quite old and we'll be replacing the parts from the old PC with some of the new parts here so it'll be more powerful you know to make more videos for you guys to view so let's look in the components for our upgrade here in case if you're wondering what kind of specs we are using for our video editing rig so not gonna talk too much about it but it's quite old and you can see the specs uh, right here and it's 2020 now I guess we will need to upgrade all the stuff here you know to make things more efficient for us so for the CPU we'll be using what we have here in the office which is the Ryzen 9 3950X which is what we have as of now the most powerful we have in the office and for the memory we'll be using the new kit which is a TC Create 64 gig dual channel kit from Team Group because this is one of the uh, new memory that is creators oriented so we're looking forward to see how this is gonna perform for the main storage since we have existing hard drive already what we'll do is we'll be upgrading our existing drive primary drive to a faster one which is the Corsair MP510 as for the motherboard and graphics card we'll be using the Aorus X570 Extreme quite powerful and feature rich board for creators you out there who wants the best out of it and of course we'll be upgrading our existing 1080 to other the 80 but two gens from then which is the 3080 Aorus Extreme of course you guys might probably notice that all these parts are some of the high-end parts you can find nowadays and they'll be generating quite some heat during operation especially when we're doing video rendering so we will need a decent case with decent airflow you know to cool these things down so here we have the new Corsair 4000D one of their latest mid tower in this time and we have our thanks to Corsair for sending over this 4000D to make this build possible so without any further ado let's move in with the building We've done with the build and this is the final touch or peel. Oh, yeah. <sighs> that never gets old. So we are finally done with the build and this will be our new editing rig. So Stay tuned for more videos from this rig but before we end this video I would like to share my experience building this rig with you guys. So for the 4000D, um, it's been quite a while since I last built a PC in a Corsair case, especially those you know minimalist type obsidian series and back in the days I'm a big fan of their design because of the minimalist look compared to the rest of the options you have in the market and for this one even though they still have the tempered glass which I'm not really a fan of they did keep the minimalism here intact and I'm cool with the outlook as for the inside I mean wow it's seriously one of the best case for ATX build yes I'm highlighting 
ATX here because even though they did mention about supporting EATX motherboard, uh, we struggle quite a lot <laughs> because of the motherboard form factor. Well, you can make a pretty clean build with how the case is being designed for, but I will say that it's best to keep things at ATX for the best result. Regardless of AIO or air cooler, the 4000D can support quite a lot of options out there if you want to build according to what you like. As for those of you who wants to build maybe a water-cooled build or just go with plain AIO because, you know, for the sake of convenience, yes, you can mount a 240 red on the top, 360 at the front, but that depends on how you plan for your build because if you want to build a build with a 360 red at the front, you might have to adjust, yes, you might have to adjust your hard drive cache a little bit for some extra clearance. The fan filters especially is probably my favorite here because not only that it comes with magnetic strips for you know easy installation and removal, the mesh is totally different than what we've seen before, which makes cleaning a lot easier than most generic fan filters out there. And for the front, it looks really clean, but you can actually remove the front metal piece here to get access to the fan filter. And of course, if you want to install extra fans or perhaps your 360 red, this is how you gain access to the clearance. And of course, if you're building a powerful PC, you get plenty of cables, especially nowadays people are obsessed with all the RGB lightings. And with all the RGB lightings you have, yes, you will get more cable mess, I guess. And for the 4000D here, it has all the clearance you need and of course a specialized cable routing path that is very well built, yes. And also another extra clearance just in case you have any other more cables that is a bit more thicker than what the original clearance allows. So in terms of cable management, yes, Corsair did an excellent job for this. Though I still have minor complaints on the clearance cut out there because if you're using EATX motherboard for this build like what we did here, you might have some issues with the side connectors. So the cut out might need to improve just a little bit more but in overall, Corsair did a really good job in designing the 4000D. Since you have plenty of clearance, closing the side panel will not be a problem at all. You don't have to press too much, you know, just for the sake of closing the side panel because of the bulge. For this, you won't be facing any problem with the 4000D. Though you might still need to take note that the front panel is still tempered glass and do handle with care because even though the current design allows detachment slightly easier than all the previous design and a bit more secured, you still have to handle with care just in case some accident happens. Oh, and before that, I would like to highlight another thing is that uh, even though Corsair did include USB Type-C for the front I.O., well, they only have one Type-A port here. So it could be better if Corsair can consider having two Type-A instead of one. As for the price, the Corsair 4000D will cost around 359 ringgit. And I think that's a pretty fair price for how the case is built and the quality itself is just amazing. So if you're looking for a decent mid-tower case that is actually good for your next build, the Corsair 4000D here is probably one of the cases I will really recommend for that price range. Now, do note that the fan option is a little bit limited because Corsair only included two 120mm fans. So, if you want to have more airflows in your case, you might have to invest in you know, extra fans just to get more airflow for better cooling. So, that's pretty much it for our build, our new <laughs> video editing rig build with the Corsair 4000D here. Personally, I like the case a lot for what Corsair has done with the design. 
But do let us know what you think of the Corsair 4000D here. Would you get the case for your next upgrade or will you not? And I'll see you guys in the next one.